Yeah, this uh, just got done within the last hour, and it took a lot to get this guy into custody. The LAPD deploying gas canisters, rubber bullets, a taser, and finally that canine officer who was cut in the face by a knife that this guy was wielding. The dog is going to be okay. The man is now headed to jail. And take a listen. You can hear two explosions of those gas canisters going off as police moved in. Now the man identified by police as Lawrence Gray in his 40s, you can see taken into custody and was treated for injuries that he suffered during the takedown. This started around 3.30 this afternoon. Officers were at the motel to perform what they say was a parole check. They found Gray who had an arrest warrant out for grand theft auto and drug violations. Police knocked on his door. He actually answered and once he saw it was the police slammed it shut. Police eventually wound up banging a hole in his door with a battering ram and through that hole saw a weapon. Gray threatened to kill himself, and here we are now seven hours later. We spoke with a couple who was in the room next door to Gray when this all went down. Take a listen. SWAT came. They started banging in the door. They broke the door, like a little hole next to the doorknob, and that, that didn't do anything. They backed up once they saw he had a weapon. During that process, unfortunately, our canine was cut in the face. Uh, the suspect was armed with a blade or a knife. Fortunately, it's a minor injury for our canine, but he will go to the hospital now and be treated for that. So some good news there. Lancashire Boulevard is going to be shut down for the time being as they process this scene and clean things up. Lawrence Gray facing several charges related to those parole violations and may face even more for his knife attack on that canine officer.